Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So happy you could be with me here today. Walter here at the workbench. So today let's talk a little bit about chisels. Do you buy expensive chisels? Do you buy a set? Well, you're looking at my set. My set was purchased one chisel at a time or in the in regards to the Aldi's chisels, I got that set of four. But I always found that a set of any type of tool has to have work waiting for it. So whether it's a bench chisel set or whether it's a carving set or whether it's a wood turning set, you have to have use for every tool or why buy them? So, little by little over the years I acquired these. I like the longer pairing style chisel. These are shorter bench chisels or carpenter's chisels. This little eighth inch one is a mortising chisel. But I don't use it to mortise. I use it to clean out small details when I need it. This is a uh, sergeant, an old sergeant I picked up for a few bucks, made the handle. So that, let me touch base on the chisel design. This mortising chisel has a bolster, which is this portion here, this fat portion of steel, and then it has a tang that goes down into the handle. So you, you make your handle, you put a ferrule on the handle, you, and you fit your chisel to it. That all helps prevent the handle from cracking. Now, this Marple's blue chip, I believe, and I've never taken one of these apart, but this is a make-believe socket, and there is a tang that goes into the plastic. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it based on the way things are made usually. That's a nice chisel, good steel, not the best one out of the batch, but uh, all of these are what we call socket chisels because the handles fit into sockets. So it's, it's like mortise and tenon. I mean, it's woodworking. Pros and cons on that is if you hang your chisels up, let's say on a magnetic rack, the handles can dry out and fall out during the winter time or your dry season, whatever that is. So, in brief, when I find a chisel, one of the first things I want to do is find out how much of the back I can flatten. And yes, this is the back. On a plain blade, this is the face. But on the chisel, this is the back. So, all I really am interested in is this last half inch. Maybe an inch if I can get it. But mostly it's that last half inch. If I can get that flat, I really don't care much about this. And this has rust pits back here and here. And I don't think in my lifetime I'm going to be worried about that. Then as far as sharpening, it's the same as any other chisel. Let me see if we get a good one I can show you here. Uh, this one has a good bevel. You just grind a standard 25 degree bevel for your primary bevel and then you hone. This is flat so now you're going to hone this until you create a burr. You may want to lift up from the 25 to maybe 30 degrees, catch a little bit of a burr, come back here, knock the burr off and then strop it if you want to. If you're using very fine grit, like 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 16,000, 30,000 grit stones, I'm not, then you wouldn't have to strop it. Chisels are like carving tools. The more perfect the edge, the easier they'll cut, and the sharper they will stay longer. So that's basically it as far as sharpening. I, 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 
may, if you want me to, I can go through the process of sharpening a chisel. It's not hard to do. It's a, it's a matter of seconds. But um, a benefit of old tools is you can get them cheap usually. Flea markets. Some of these I got in boxes of other tools. So they virtually cost me nothing. Some of them were two, three, four, five dollars. I think I may have paid seven dollars for this two inch. That's like, you go try to buy a two inch chisel today. Uh, you know, two inch socket chisel like that, you're gonna be up in, in close to a hundred dollars new. Now as far as these Aldi's chisels are concerned, they're not bad. Okay, people say, well, they're mild steel. I said, no, they're tool steel. And they're heat treated to an acceptable level. Like, as long as you've got a hollow back here, conca a concave back. See, I'm connecting here a little bit, and I'm sharp up on my front edge. That's all you need. That's all you need. They're a good entry-level chisel. And I, I would venture to say that you put these in the toolbox of any craftsman who knows how to use a chisel. And the worst thing that can happen is he might have to strop or sharpen a little more with these. So if you're just getting started, go to Aldi's right around Father's Day, a little before sometimes. And you pick up your set. They, they've been running about seven, eight dollars here in the United States. But uh, even if you pay ten dollars for four chisels, that's two dollars and fifty cents a chisel. By the time you sharpen an inch of this away, you will have put in enough hours at the bench that you then can say, okay, I want a different chisel. So it's totally up to you where you want to spend your money. But um, there's nothing wrong with these. They will pare, they will chop, they will clean end grain. You know, that's always the, uh, the big test for whether or not your plane is sharp is take it to the end grain of a piece of softwood like pine. Taking a pretty heavy cut here. But you take it to the end grain. Okay, and you see the kind of chips you're peeling off. Fine, silky, waxy looking. And then you look at the end grain. And this is where I talked about in the wood identification video, when you clean off your end grain, you can get a really good clean picture of it. That's how you can identify your wood based on your growth rings. But that's about it, everybody. That's the long and short of, the, uh, of chisels. If you have any more questions regarding chisels, leave them in the comment section. If you want more information, feel free to write me. My contact information is also in the description box. But uh, I hope you found something helpful, useful. I don't know about entertaining today, but I didn't, didn't do anything goofy. <laughs> Give it the old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. But most importantly, Get your chisels out, clean them, grind them, sharpen them, hone them, strop them, and test them out on some wood. Go make some shavings. Walter out.